Hey yo, this is another video. Okay, I'm not trying to waste no time trying to get right into it. This video, of course, if you clicked on it, is about um, the analyzing of the song 7779311 by the time um, sung by Morris Day. Um, okay, because I remember the book I was reading out of for a good while, it's a, it's a big book. But I got through the book um, just in time for me uh, when I did do it. So I don't really want to waste too much time. But I'm, I'm going to show you the name of the book and and let's get right into it. And uh, it all the numbers in that the, for the name of that song it correlates and it makes total sense. The book I'm coming out of is the Ninth Arch by Kenneth Grant. So you can also check this book out yourself. So before I go into this uh, this video, I wanted to uh, do this because I was I I I, um, I was listening to the the song by Tupac, uh, "What's Your Phone Number?" on um, "All Eyes on Me," um, which is a, a classic album, uh, by the way. But also, uh, it was a sample from the song seven 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 ninety three eleven, but um. With me, when I when I was listening to it, I'm like, man, those numbers itself, uh, which is very uh, like keen to me, because when I was reading this book, uh, the Ninth Arch that I showed you, a lot of those numbers had some re relevance, and that matched up with that song. And I have some um, some um, some of the same numbers or uh, come to me a lot. So I just wanted to. Uh, bring this to light. So I don't know when he made this song, when they, the, the group made this song, if this was on their mind or, or what, but uh, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hit home. All right, so let's get right into the information. All right, so we're going to start at the Oracle of 108.22. So we're going to come into uh, those numbers, 777-9311. Okay, this tune was heard, this tune was was heard once in a steep attic by a half crazed player. The most likely candidate for the role of a half crazed player that springs to mind is the one evoked by H.P. Lovecraft in a pleasant title tale entitled The Music of Eric Zan. 109.23 From queer perspectives, weird perspectives, upon rooftops where wind chattered the crooked stacks emitting plumes of smoke sullen ghosts dancing fanatic jigs on precipitous tile precipitous tiles a tessellated pavement correct exact and precise we approach the secret arch a silver of light trails a snail's bright track across its portal okay the music accompanies or brings about the first direct encounter with the ninth arch the tessellated pavement it suggests the ground of the masonic lodge so so the ninth arch is the vagina the vesica uh, the clitoris uh, the whole whole thing. So the ninth arch is it, the the symbol actually took off the uh, the cover. So you, uh, it's like it's the the cover of this book. It it was like a, a painted cover. Um, well, with uh with the cover, it was like uh, purple, white, and pink, a lot, a lot of different colors and stuff and symbols on it. But I took it because it was gonna get messed up by me putting it always in my backpack. So. You know, so, but I didn't want to destroy the actual cover of it, and I wanted to keep it. So, let me get back to the book. <clears throat> and the reason why I said that, because it actually has a a, uh, a picture of the vesica uh, with, in different uh, arches uh, leading up to the ninth, too, also. So, that's why I wanted to bring that up, too, also. So, it's the reason why I say that, also, is because the highly melanated woman, or so-called black woman, or so-called African-American woman, is the master as is the master mason and make sure i said it clear enough the highly melanated highly melanated woman is the ma master mason the so-called black woman so-called african-american woman 
is the master mason that is, it suggests the ground the ground of a masonic lodge speaking of because she's the only uh, one that can that has two x chromosomes that can feed a baby conceive a baby um while the while the baby is inside the womb and once the baby comes out into the light from the darkness um can uh take care of a child and also feed with her with her breast or breastfeed so that's why the highly melanated woman or the so-called black woman is the master mason let's keep going for manifold correspondences with the number 23 cra wilson's Ill illuminatus and the cosmic tri trigger so the number 23 there's also a, a movie called the number 23 and that and it deals with that too also so it's just in a visual form. The oracle is in Govan music, confirming the connection with the ninth arch. The squire claims that the music was wild, eerie, and wild, eerie in the extreme, but that a noticeable pattern emerged from its surging and ebbing dissonances, suggesting a rhythmic architecture. 109 is a value of the word stele, which confirms its sinister character noted in previous verses. It is also a number of atlaknaka, of the spider shape. This appearance of the Yadam of Book 29 seems, uh, this is actually Book 29, another name for the, the ninth arch is Book 29, seems to fuse into a single image the three major concepts, mantra, music, yantra, eightfold spider, shape, and tantra, stele as pentacle and practical formula of viparita kara, karani. <clears throat> so, 18, you can see it in the glossary, but I also took it down as a, a, a definition for myself too also. 109 also equals a govil circle sphere in this context the kaula circle so viparita karani retro version of the scenes vital to sex tantra okay um that's like part of the moon cycle because the moon goes from a new moon to a full moon in two weeks and back from a from a full moon to a new moon in another two weeks so so that's what uh, Sin or Kansu. Sin is in Mesopotamia, um, Samaria, or the Necronomicon. And Kansu is uh, Egyptian or Kemetic. All right. Okay, 77323. Uh, that's the oracle and the verse number. 23 again with the number. The air, Vayu, uh, here pressed upward in, this, in the Apana, uh, the natural tendency of which is downward okay i'm going to show you a picture of of the tree of life uh what they're getting at so we're going to keep reading and i'm going to show you what i'm talking about natural natural tendency of which is downward this is the stage in the kaula practice the praxis the kaula praxis the oracle is srinix so remember he was uh, in the songs uh that song i'm talking about he was um he was actually speaking to this woman. And he was actually trying to win her over and trying to give get her to give him the number so they can speak and, you know, uh, meet up and do what they do, either hang out or uh, go have a good time and ha or have some sex, whatever it was that was on their mind. But that was, he had to use, as he says, natural tendency of which is downward. So I'm going to show you what I mean by that when I show you the tree of life. The pipe of seven reeds held in the hand of Pan. So Pan, you'll see, uh, or pandemic, pandemonium, uh, like it's like chaos. So uh, you see a half animal, half person. When he's playing the flute, he has, is it, what does it say? Seven reeds, right here. Seven reeds held in the hand of Pan. The reeds signify the flute. The reeds signify the air via prana ascending through the seven chakras, which 
vibrate to the passage of the fire snake. A further reference to Kaula practice, praxis. The integers 2, 3 conceal the triple formula of the scarlet woman. 3 minus 2 is 1. 2 plus 3 equals 5. 2 times 3 is 6. You can't divide um, 2 into 3 because it would be 1.5. 1, 1. So 156. That's the number of the scarlet woman in um, occult lore or occult, occultism. Um, if you look through it through the book of Thoth, you can find the star of Babylon, B-A-B-A-L-O-N, and they break down break it down into a, a larger math problem, a problem or um, yeah, a larger equation, and you'll see it more and more in full detail too. Also, so so when he said the seven reeds, those are the seven holes, and they say it blows air. So he's talking about the flute. The musician, okay, let's keep it going. Also, you can find Pan in uh, in mythology and looking up on you can look him up on online and you can see what I'm talking about too. Also, seven seven four two four. Uh, the ancient the ain't the ascent here is on the the fire snake's ascent. The oracle is Odin or Eden. The word also denotes per period. A definite, yeah, definite time, especially as related to the feminine lunar cycle. Hence, a circle of time. The lunar cycle, uh, they say they, the women say the monthlies. So the lunar circle of time. But remember, while you're having sex and you're not worried about this, you, have, you don't have a time limit or time constraint. You're not worried about the time. So that's. They say call that the outside the circles of time because when you're really involved or enthralled in sex and you're really not uh, worried about anything else, time flies. When you're going and you're not looking to release any fluid or reach a climax, time doesn't exist. Until you look at the time, you're like, damn, we've been doing it that long? But that's what I'm saying. That's, it's called outside the circles of time. And also the same author, the author of this book, he came out with a book called Outside the Circles of Time. I never got my hands on it, so you get your hands on it. Do what you do, you know what I'm saying? Get your learning on. So so I just, I just know. So <laughs> the fire snake makes a loop or circle when she makes her round of the seven chakras. So the seven reeds. As they said before, the seven reeds are the seven chakras. Just like you have those planets, seven planets, you have seven chakras. Everything outside yourself is inside. The seven chakras. 774 also equals Beth Shabo. Philia Septinari. Okay, that's um, original Spanish. Okay. So I'm actually going to, uh, I'm going to go back to it, but I'm going to, I'm going to fill in uh, and then give you the numbers so it makes more sense. So 77929, okay, Tlingaling, a, the raven with the lid of its single eye, raised with a single glance, the absent lid of the coffer in the pyramid of Vith. The raven is the familiar spirit of Sin Sin Wa. Its eyelid is compared with the lid absent from the void casket in the king's chamber of the Great Pyramid, referred to in the Wisdom of Silba 197.43 as the Pyramid of Vith. The meaning of this verse remains a mystery. The oracle is Satan Aku, Satan or Set. Then you have Kansu um, as Aku or Aku in uh, Sumerian mythology. So Satan Aku, which is set in Kansu. Li Poer Trench. Trench suggests that the revival in recent times of black magic and witchcraft has been triggered from the earth's interior and emanates from Satan Aku's caverns. These caverns are the tunnels of Set, and thus Satan Aku is an alternative appellation of the tunnels of Set, from one from one of which emanated this book, Akbish. So another name for this book from the ninth arc is called the book Akbish. So Akbish means spider too also. Uh, note, 
Uh, however, the suffix ku. Remember, uh, Kendrick Lamar had a uh, uh, money trees, trees, the tree of life, uh, money trees, akbish, yabish. So, come on. Uh, well, anyway, let's keep going. I'll probably make a video about that. But um, note, however, the suffix ku, the Chinese magic practice by sin sin wa, which is an Asian version of sin or zen. Uh, Kansu, uh, 779 also, uh, that was in, that's in Greek, um, this word right here, 779 also equals, this word that I can't, uh, I can't, I don't have the information to pronounce it right now, which suggests the lidless sarcophagus, sarcophagus, uh, think about it on the body, sarcophagus is what, the throat, right, so the, uh, that's the throat chakra, so he's actually, what, speaking to the woman, trying to win her over. He said, I know I'm cooler than this guy that you're sitting with. Come on. Come on. give me. I want your number. Give me your number. And he, it was one point he even said, I would like to hear that. Uh, I'd like for you to slap me in my face. Like if like if it was something she didn't want to hear, like a woman would slap a man or whatever. But then the clap or the clap or the the drum pattern came in with the, the slap or clap together. And that's, you know, the music. If you're into music, you know what I'm talking about. So the sarcophagus. So he used his, his throat chakra in order to speak to uh speak to uh the woman he was speaking to in the otherwise empty king's chamber of the Great Pyramid, mentioned in chapters uh mentioned in these chapters, chapters two, verse twenty, chapter five, verse twenty six and twenty seven, eleven, chapter eleven and verse twenty nine, chapter twenty two and verse twenty four, chapter twenty six and verse twenty six, and twenty seven and verse twenty nine. So what he's saying, well, what they're saying right here, um, the king's chamber is actually your mind. Um, the pineal gland is where you sit at. So, uh, but he has, in order for her to understand what he's saying, he has to go down uh, to a lower version of it, the lower self, which is the mouth or the sarcophagus, in order to speak to her, in order to, for her to understand what's on his mind. So uh, the coup is actually... The pyramid, they say Chinese magic, the magic uh, ku, um, that word, that same word, uh, K-H-U, is actually a pyramid in Egyptian, ku, okay, so ku in Chinese magic, so your magic is your mind, highly melanated people, so-called black people, so-called African American people, as you can see, you know, so don't get it twisted, <laughs> uh, so ku means the pyramid or your mind, um, and the sword is actually your um, your spine, so it said put the put the pyramid in the in the in the sword together. And the tongue would be some, looked at as somewhat. They say the tongue uh, or the, would be the sword in, later on down the line. It won't be having to, having to be anything in a physical form. So that's what he's doing. He's actually talking to the woman to win, win her over. Okay, I'm pressed for time. Pressing for time. I don't want to lose lose y'all. Y'all can always stop, pause it, rewind it. Uh, go back and forth and take notes if you want to. So I took notes before I did this about what pages I wanted to go through and give to y'all so, so y'all can get the right information. So now we enter 777, part of the name of the song, 777, 93, and 11. So 777, as storm within the hut raged, see comment to 767, 17. The oracle is Shaitan Awaz. 359 plus 418, which is 777. Shaitan uh, will be set, and Awas will be Heru, or Shathulu, or Set Heru. So, and these are different areas. These are This is Sumerian names. So, the, a, lot, a lot of this book, they have different uh, versions of these full, or these names. Uh, from, like, if you're in different mythologies, you can, you can compare, like, comparative. You can bring them, bring them together. The tree of life, okay, uh, which is numeration of seven, seven, seven of the paths of the tree of life that are crossed by the flaming sword as it flashes from Kether to Malkuth. Seven, seven, seven also equals Avlum, Hekli Pavath, the world of shells. The shells or the calipoth. You got 11 on the front side and 11 on the back end. So the dark side is where the power is at in order to bring it to the light. She got to go inside to the darkness 
and then bring it to where uh, it can be understood or exp uh, when you explain it with your, your mouth or your sarcophagus to bring that information through the light. Now, you, now they like the light bulb goes off when 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 you um, when you bring this information forward. So he uses he uses lower energy to speak to the woman and brought it up to his higher self to let him let her know what he wanted to do because he got that feeling like man, this is a beautiful woman, it's a fine woman. I want to I want to see her outside of this place. Okay, we went from Kether. He had an idea, right? This is the tree of life. Also, just in case some people haven't seen it. So, this is all black people's information. Uh, it just, it just, we just forgot a lot of things and we just started to remember again. So, so he went from his idea to speak to this woman. He went all the way down to to from Kether to Malkuth, like I just read, to his lower self to actually uh, to bring that. And then he's gonna bring his his idea to to keep pushing it on, like. Come on, I want to speak to you. I know it's a little fast, but I'm, I'm I don't have we don't have much time. You might say the circles of time. All right, we don't have he don't have much time. So it's just funny how everything uh, correlated. So um, as you can see right here, what does it say? Lust, the Empress, lust, the Tower, Malkuth. So I'm not uh, the best on the Tree of Life, but I this is like the front and the back end. How you can look at it, Doth or Doth Vader, as you see right here, is like behind, like behind your neck. That's where the highest form of melanin is. So I'm really trying to, I want to learn this more, and I got some information on it. So I just don't want to divulge that yet. So I'm, I'm gonna uh, start reading on it and get into it. So I don't want to give y'all something I don't really uh, understand, and it's like I'm just reading just to be reading. All right. So. 77323, the air value here pressed up, upward to the apana, the natural tendency of which is downward. This is a stage in the Kaula praxis. So we had talked about this earlier. Okay, so he's actually speaking uh, to the woman. So as you can see, Babylon or the fire snake, he uses the snake or the fire snake uh, in order to go to from Kether to Malku, back up to Malku. So the the scarlet woman, they say scarlet, uh, that means red hair, right? But they're not talking about the red hair on top of the head. No, 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 no. So you ever seen the movie, uh, The Ninth Gate? The Ninth Gate? The Ninth Arch? The Ninth Gate? Oh, hold on. Oh, how did that happen? Yeah, The Ninth Gate. So this was this film was done by uh, uh, you see Johnny Depp in this film. I can't think of the uh, the director's name at this very moment. Uh, he ran. He went on a run to Paris or France somewhere. Uh, uh, Orlansky or something like that. I forget. Forget the guy's name. He's a he done. He done. He did Red, Rosemary's Baby too. Also. If you, so if you look up those names, you'll find out the director's name. So that means he was in the what? The occult realm, that which is hidden. Occult or occultum. Occultum is the old word for melanin. So let's get back into it. So like I said, the Scarlet Woman, if you watch the movie The Ninth Gate, um, you'll find out the Scarlet Woman, she has red hair, but actually talking about the red hair between the legs. That's what they're talking about. So the red hair is not... Uh, so if you watch that movie, the lady he's with is doing, they talk they they show her with red hair, but it's also what it's mainly only dealing with. That's only a representation. So, um, so they're talking about the the red hair between the legs. So let's keep going. So like I just read earlier, I read this part earlier, but I wanted to bring it up again. How they're talking about um, Viparita Karani. Karani, a uh, retroversion of the, the scenes, vital to the sex tantra. And so that's what I was telling you about the music, um, the yantra, and also the tantra. So doing that, that actually uh, brings on in this context is the Kaula circle. So they're actually talk, talking about the woman on her actual uh, cycle or a, a period, a monthly cycle. So we have the number 93. 
777-9311, okay? Does Pan strike the gong? The oracle is Silva and Lemivis. A fusion, well, they both have the number 93, Silva and Lemivis. A fusion of Lamb and Avaz. This verse is incomprehensible to all but those who at the time this book Agbish was manifested 1955 to 1962 were familiar with the ritual procedures of New Isis Lodge. Isis uh, that's the actual woman so the Lodge of the Woman and remember I told us at the beginning of the video the woman is actually the, the actual master mason. The striking of a reverberant Mongolian gong announced the commencement of a rite a rite or a ritual uh, the, the question then appears to be, is the right to be enacted at high noon, 948, or a squill of golds, 95.9, lighten the dusk, or does a signal come from the dusk, i.e. the dark one, set, 96.10, the god of fear, the god of fear is Pan, the verse number signals the end of a series and the return again through not to one. Not to one. I mean, it's going to be 11. But remember, we just came out of 2020. And now we're going into 21. We are, we're already in 2021. So what we're doing is actually, it's just a new energy coming in. And it's, it's actually more powerful energy. I've, I've, never, I've never seen it like this since I've been doing all of this. So it's just been a lot of things moving faster than what I'm used to. And I'm, I'm glad because every time is going backwards and things are moving faster just to get it where it's supposed to be. All right. This verse number signals the end of a series and the return again through not to one, the oracle, to IE, to all E, is the crystal energy device abuse of which is said to have resulted in the destruction of Atlantis. This was one way of reducing the one to naught, bringing to an end one cycle and inaugurating its recurrence in another. So that's how Atlantis uh, destroyed itself because the, they didn't use the crystal inside their heads or because they, they had to use something outside of their physical bodies and it, it was bringing on something that would... Um, it was too many people using it at, this, at one time. You can find it in... Um, Rudolf Steiner's um, Atlantis and Lamori, he he speaks on that too, also in that book. So if you get your hands on that, you can you can find it in there. I've actually read most of it, some of that book, and I have to get back into it some myself. But yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. So we get the number eleven, uh, Oracle number ninety-seven, verse eleven. All right. Um, so when you read these, it's like they're separating the, the verses. But the thing is, these are the comments or so you can get acclimated or you know what you're reading when you read the verses as it was coming out. So the God of fear is near. Yes. So that's how it will be read. But this is, they just explain it in between. 9711, is, is the God of fear is near. Yes. 11. So when they say that, now listen to what this is saying. 11 is the beginning of a new series and the one beyond 10 number four uh c grants this is the author's book uh Elisa crawley and the hidden god chapter one so the hidden god comes out of the egg and i'll, I'll explain that to you the oracle hints that such a dissolution is again imminent 497 equals the men the appointed time we see also one of the four symbols connected with the scenario unfolded by a malantra, nest, desert, egg, palm, all as 97 also equals tipcha, a hand breadeth a palm. So what we're doing now is going to 126, Oracle 126 and verse 11. So we, we, uh, we're extending, um, uh, what that is so you know what I see something here so I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, I'm gonna read a 124.9 so 124.9 uh, um, I read this before 
All right, so not not in this video, but in my past times I saw this. Okay, they knew it as a secret word. The verse number is that of Obeya, Avib, Python, a Typhon. The oracle equals 31 plus 93, two key numbers of the lemma, which are magically expressed as la, 31 plus m or m plus gn equals 93. gn having the value of the bindu, the bindu seed or the pineal gland, thus is lamb. So when they, Alistair Crawley drew up lamb, the, uh, it's the the babe and the egg or the alien, the alien, the, the actual hidden self or the alternative self or the, um, the everybody said they say that everybody has two sides. So that's what they mean. Which they knew the secret word of the verse nine explicates the hum of one, one, eight, three, the, the only sound of dead virgins, the dead of, or sleeping virgins are the, Pythonesses sacred to Avib, nine in their magnetic trance. So let me go down to this. So as you can see, those 93 is also a vital number again with Awas. So 11, a bluster beast lunged upon it, but it fled the jaws, dripping with the ichors of darkness. The secret word was uttered from the vulva of new Isis in the form of the child, the dwarf god, Bess. See so that, so yeah, so what I'm saying? Avaz. So the, uh, the dwarf god would be Bess. You can find these in uh, different areas. The Bess, uh, Bess with his tongue out. Okay? So let's get back. Uh, 11. Being the number of magic and of, and of all numbers who are of us. 18. You can find in um, the Book of the Law uh, points of of AVD, the magical light, and as Crowley adds, almost Kundalini, the dwarf child appears in the symbolism of this number. The Kabbalist Isaac Deloria mentions eleven classes of shells. The shell suggests the egg. Eleven equals eleven, and the babe in the egg. Corporate, the cripple god, because we're in the physical body, but it's like a, a deity operating your physical body. So, seven 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 ninety three eleven. He's bringing out his, who he is to this woman to get to get to her to uh, to get to have a good time and also to even have a better time. All right. So if you listen to that song, listen to this, you listen to them comparatively, and it makes total sense. So the beast is also. What? The beast is also the Sphinx. Sekhmet.